Hi, I'm John from WorkshopAddict.com. Today I have the DeWalt 12 volt max handheld wall scanning unit to show you, model number DCT419. Now don't get a wall scanning unit confused with a stud finder. This does much, much more than just find um, studs behind a wall. This unit in particular will let you know when it sees plastic, non-ferrous metal, which is um, copper, copper wire, copper plumbing, aluminum. Um, it'll show you a ferrous metal, which would be steel uh, beams, steel studs, uh, steel wall plates, um, cast iron. Um, it'll also show you wood, wood with embedded metal in it, like nails or a nail plate. And it'll also show you if there is any unshielded electrical around that area. Um, so if you've got electrical wiring that's hot in there, it should give you an indication it's close by. Now, how this unit works is there's a series of sensors in the back of this unit. When you run this scanning unit across the wall, and on the way it will get to the end, it will do some calculations with these algorithms that it has built in. It'll figure out what did it just see. And when you go back, it's mapping the wall. So when you go back across, it will show you what it's seeing. Now, the nice thing, this display on here is excellent. And it show, gives you so much information. This unit will scan up to 9.8 feet of a wall and do its calculations. There is a little bar across the bottom and you're doing that, it will show you how much of that 9.8 feet you're using. If you're getting close to the end of the 9.8 feet, there's a little red bar that pops up says you're getting close. If you go beyond that, we can't do any calculations and it'll make you rescan it. So this thing gives you a lot of feedback. After you've scanned your wall and you come back, there's gonna be a little display on there that will say, um, at the bottom it says, I see some here, 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 here. And as you come back across the wall, there's a little set of um, area that it's showing you it's on the screen. When it goes back over one of those bars that it sees, it, it'll come up on the screen as wood or steel, and it will let you know what it's seeing. Now, if you read the manual on this, DeWalt suggests not just taking one scan. You need to take several scans of the wall. Take it high, take it low, because of where the sensors are set. And this is just a guide to help you figure out what's behind the wall. They want you to do several passes so it'll give you a good idea. You should be able to see consistent results. We did try it a couple times and we ended up with this really weird piece of plastic that was showing up in the middle of this wall, but not above it, not below it. So we're seeing something weird in there. Um, so do several passes with it. Also in the manual, it tells you that this is not gonna do well with plaster and lath. So if you've got a really old house with plaster and lath, which has got some metal in it and a lot of nails, and it's gonna confuse the heck out of us, it doesn't do well. My house is a 1961. I have plaster, but I have rock lath. And in the past, I have used just about everything, and I can't find anything that does a good job on it. This actually did a very good job. There was some abnormalities in there, but I was able to find studs at least. And if you've ever worked with plaster before, you know anything about plaster, there can be hard sections and soft sections. It's inconsistent in its density. So with a unit like this that's able to pick up those studs, this is a godsend. Now, people are gonna use this, gonna be professionals, you're gonna be a remodeler, you're gonna have a bunch of rental units that you do your own work on, electrician, plumber, you know, house builder, I mean, someone who's coming in and renovating a house. This is gonna be priceless. If you make a mistake, get caught up into some hot electrical, cut up uh, some piping you don't even think's there, you didn't know about, next thing you got water everywhere, this can save you time and money. Um, this unit is, like I said, I've used a whole bunch of them. This is really nice. Um, I'm gonna show you here in a second. We're gonna scan a wall and, and show you what we found. There was something I wasn't thinking about and until we scanned it, went, oh yeah, there it is. But very simple to operate. Uh, this unit also comes with a little pocket guide that shows you how to step through it. But it's very simple. You turn the unit on by the power button, hold it in for a little bit, and then there's gonna be a series of screens that'll come up. You need to set your environment, whether it's gonna be residential, uh, residential wood stud or commercial steel stud. That's two of the options. The third option is concrete. This will scan concrete, I believe up to three inches in depth, but it's not a deep scanning concrete, uh, deep scanner. So don't get that confused with a deep scanner either. Also, you can set the language, English, Spanish, French, and there is a tutorial on here. So if you forget, this will step you through how to use the unit. Uh, basically, there are four rubber wheels on here that run together, and that is um, that's how you map out the wall. So you just set the unit on the wall, 
press the button, follow the directions, slide it across. This will tell you if you're sliding across the wall too fast or too slow. So it takes a little, I mean, very little bit of uh, getting used to to figure out what's the right speed to push this across the wall at. But it really gives you instantaneous feedback, tells you what's going on. The icons are very clear. Now this unit did come out last year. And after being out in the field and getting a bunch of feedback from the people who were using these every day, they made some changes. So that's the reason for this new model. It was a little confusing. They kind of added this one option, which is wood with metal. Now, what they were seeing out in the field is a person would go across and you'd see wood, wood, steel. And it didn't make any sense. This house shouldn't have any steel in it. Well, what it was doing is the sensor was picking up screws or um, um, nail plates and it was seeing as metal. So they put, changed the algorithms, changed the icon in here, and now when it's seeing this wood and metal, it's, it's picking up as wood and metal. So uh, also I wanted to tell you that if you come across unshielded electrical, it's not gonna be, here it is, here it is. It's gonna pick it up in this range. It's picking it up and it's saying, there's electrical in here. So you're not gonna be able to pinpoint it's right here. So this is to be used as an aid to give you an idea of what you're working with behind the wall. This isn't a definitive, this is right here electrical. This is right here plastic. It, it can make mistakes, but if you do several passes and use this, this can be a great aid. So let's take a look to see how this unit actually works. Now we're gonna scan this eight or nine foot section of wall. First thing you wanna do is turn the unit on with the power button, hold it in for a second, and it will give you the DeWalt sign. The next thing it's gonna tell you is we are in a residential construction type with wood studs. Uh, there's a few other options. The other one is industrial. Um, but what we're gonna do right now is it's a house, so we're gonna check for residential. Push the arrow key that will get you into the pre-scanning mode. What you need to do is go one way or the other and it will scan the wall and as you come back, it'll tell you what was there. So make sure you are careful with your speed on the wall because if you scan it too fast, it will let you know. If you're too slow, it'll let you know and you'll have to start over. It takes a little, little getting used to, but it's not bad. Now that we're at the end, we just bring it back a tinge and it's gonna do its algorithms to figure out what's there. And right off the bat, we find there's a wood stud right in here. Um, on the bottom is the indications of what it found. And when it rolls over that, it will tell you what it thinks it is. So here is another wood stud, another wood stud, and you can see they're spaced out pretty even at the bottom there, which they should be. And now we're into a non-ferrous metal, which is copper, and another non-ferrous metal. Now that is something we expect because there's a bathroom right above this here. So that's probably the hot and, water, hot and cold water lines. This is something nice to know if you're going to be putting pictures up on the wall or something or doing some remodeling, you want to be careful you don't break those. You also see the flashing arrow here, which tells you that there's electrical close by. And below us, there are some outlets. Now you have another wood stud right here. Actually, this one's showing up as wood and metal, which probably means that there is, since we expect a wood stud there, that's gonna be wood and screws or wooden nails or even a, a steel plate. But we found the end of it and you can continue to go back and get those readings again. There are the arrows on again, so we got some electrical. See, the DeWalt 12 volt max handheld wall scanning unit is super easy to use. It gives you great feedback. Um, if you ever get confused of what you're seeing on the screen, there's also a nice little sticker here that tells you what all of the logos or all of the icons stand for. Um, if you are a person that's into remodeling or making changes to your house, and you're gonna have your house for a while and you're gonna be making some changes, this might be a nice tool for you. Um, like I said, I have plaster and rock lath. This is the only thing that I've seen that's been able to handle that. And this is just a great little unit. It's the best one I've ever seen. So stop over at the forum, let's talk some tools, subscribe to our channel, give us a like, please leave us a comment. Let us know what you're seeing and whether you like this unit. Um, is this for you, is it not for you? Talk to us, leave us some feedback and uh, we love to communicate with you, so we'll respond back. Till next time, I'm John from WorkshopAddict.com. Talk to you later.